waiting for this moment for so long. This is my exponential converter. <clears throat> you have 3.94 volts at uh, C4. And when I go up to C sharp, it goes up by 0 0.08 millivolts. Then I go to D, and it goes up by 0 0.08 millivolts. Then I go to D sharp, 0 0.08, E, wait, wait, D sharp, E, 0.08-ish, <laughs> F, 7 to 5 is 8. So I have the 1 volt per octave. Um, done pretty damn well. Let me pull this uh, ground wire out of there. What you see here is to uh, BD139 transistors. Uh, thermally contacted by just sticking a ball of solder in between these because these transistors have a solder um, or have like a heat sink on the back. I have made a mistake though. I thought that those were both the emitters, but yeah, you can't do that, so I have to flip them around. Well, no, I'm, I'm not going to flip them around, but I can't have them wired like this, because this emitter needs to be connected right there, and then this emitter, it's going to be really easy. I'm just going to move that to there. I'm going to move that emitter, flip it over, tie it to right there, I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to tie it to a uh, positive voltage through a, uh, I'm going to tie it to positive voltage very easily, because positive voltage is right here, because the positive voltage also goes through a 2M2 resistor. So it goes through the inverting, through a 2M2 resistor, to the positive voltage, which I had going to this collector. Um, well, actually, this, this is the collector of the other one. So this, no, no, forget what I was just saying. This collector, I'm going to have going... through this nice little area into a comparator or some sort of just like voltage or current to voltage converter but uh, I am so fucking happy that that actually does 0 .08 1 volt per octave woohoo